Where would Smosh be today if Rhett and Link never bought it? Uh, oh yeah, you can answer that one. There were there were a couple other companies that were looking at it, at like, and that and that's where I talked about like, you know, the realizing the importance of like owning your IP because there was one company that was like it was like a Vietnamese like media company that just like wanted to buy it presumably just to like get the press release and that would be enough to just like raise their stock price to make it mm. worth it. They had zero interest in like growing a creator company. They didn't ask those sort of questions. They just knew that they Smosh just, had value. Yeah, the they name. just wanted to buy the catalog and I think that's mm. extremely terrifying mm -hmm. to to be like, okay, like we had at that time, at that point, whatever it was, uh, 12 years of, or yeah, 12 years of content that was like our lives. It was 12 years of our lives and it could have just wound up in someone else's hands, just chopped up content, just distributed on Facebook without our approval. Or locked away. Or and, locked and away. Never yeah. to be seen yeah, again. Like, and so that was like, that was super scary. Um, and that's why I'm super, like, I consider us super fortunate to, Rhett and Link reached out to me and, and were like, hey, what's up? And I was like, <laughs> save us. <laughs> yeah. And the fact yeah. that they, they are creators who were our peers and we kind of grew up in this space with them they and they got they, they had very humble beginnings like we did and and because of that they were able to understand where we came from what it was that we wanted to do what we were about so you know of course they they saved smosh from being whatever it would have become otherwise but also when ian and i came back together and to them and presented this idea of you know we're thinking what it what would it be like if we bought Smosh again. They were completely open to the idea. They were excited about it. They were like, you know, let's talk about the business later. You know, first I just just want to sit here with with this. Just how cool this is for you two to come back mm -hmm. together and want to do this again. Mm -hmm. Again, the fucking universe, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. How much you guys buy that back for? That was that ever revealed? No, it no. wasn't. <laughs> it's complicated. <laughs> it, it is complicated. But I, I think suffice to say, I think like everybody is happy. So I know it was, it was it was a very it was a very amicable <laughs> great deal I think I think everybody's everybody's gonna be happy but again you're doing business with people who very much understand because they're right there with you mm -hmm. they trailblazed with you they understand what the pressure and stress is associated with doing what you do and I don't like that's you couldn't find a better partner in the two of them I 100 percent agree agree they have such a good understanding of like the creator economy and running a creator business and when they talked to me about buying it, they were like, we don't want to do this without you. It's it's worthless. Well, by the way, a lot of things that they learned probably by watching you all do what you do and navigate this world. Yeah. I, I think that's fair to say. Yeah, I think that we both yeah. learned from each other. But yeah, yeah. no, actually, Cheers. I interviewed them and, and they did say that in the beginnings, they were like, what are these two guys from California doing? <laughs> you know, and they were yeah. kind of looking to our channel to, I, I don't know, to learn something from. Yeah. Yeah.